Greetings, and welcome to another episode of Septum Sin vs. the World. I'm Septum Sin. Today I'm going to be doing a review. Excuse my attire, I'm a little bit under the weather, so I, when I get under the weather I feel like I need to do something because I'm not at work. And so I was like, okay, well I'll just go ahead and finish this series and I need to upload a review video of it. So today I'm going to be covering a series that kind of reflects my generation. I'm actually at the very tail end of Generation X, which gives me some traits from Generation X, hello Fu, and some from Generation Y. And this series was definitely a Generation Y series. It spoke to Generation Y, it came out in 97, ran for a number of years. It's those people who in high school at that time, this series actually was for you. Me, I graduated in 97, so I had a lot of that tail end experience. So a lot of the, a lot of the tropes, a lot of the fads, everything was actually still in place at that time. So the series I'm reviewing today is Daria. Now, Daria actually is a series that came on MTV in the late 90s and uh, stayed into the early 2000s. Uh, I believe it was five seasons. And um, it actually did a, lot of, uh, it did a lot of business with the uh, young crowd, with the teenage crowd, with the uh, older teenage crowd as well as the younger teenage crowd. And this series, I found it when they released the whole thing. I seen it for $14 new, and I kept passing, passing, passing. And then I had that second and Charles gift card burning a hole in my pocket, and I saw it for 10 bucks. and I said, okay, I will go ahead and pounce on it for 10 bucks." I haven't put it in my pickups yet because, well, I always like to watch the used stuff first because I want to make sure that it's actually you know, capable of being put in my collection before I actually do that. So this will actually be going in the official watch section of the collection, not the unwatched. If you actually haven't seen my collection video, I will be putting a link below. But um, it, it it definitely was worth the watch. So Daria is your kind of angsty not very well socially adjusted teen. Uh, she's, you know, moved to this new high school and then she's actually trying to, well, she's not trying to fit in. And many people look at this as, eh, she bucks the system, she's very sarcastic, she rarely expresses emotion, she just wants to, you know, be with her books, be to herself, and just enjoy life that way. So, that's pretty much the gist of it, is her and all the people around her. And many of those are kind of tropes for, uh, for high school at the time. You've got the uh, airheaded cheerleader, the uh, boneheaded jock type character, uh, you've got the mean girl group uh, in the fashion club, um, her sister uh, joins with the mean girls, very superficial characters. Uh, you've got your goth type, you've got your um, rejected artist type, all, all the types that you would normally see in high school. And I, and I got to see plenty of these types in high school. And Daria is actually not exclusive to that. And many of the uh, less adjusted teens, many of those there could actually identify with Daria. And usually even the adjusted teens could could relate to the show at some point or another because it did cover a lot of those issues. So what was good? Well the animation is decent um, but a lot of it is in the character building. The first season really is what I told you. It's more about the tropes, it's more about using that for a humorous effect and uh, you know the characters themselves they are very entertaining, the show is fun to watch, but where it really shines is as it goes along you got to, you get to see so much depth in the characters and Daria is no exception whereas the more you go along the more you find out that Daria is not just this depressed teen uh, that just can't show emotion or express emotion or even have emotion but that her emotional range is actually as deep if not deeper than a lot of the other teens that she interacts with on the show 
and that says something. So I, I have to say that the uh, show itself lends itself to many of us who couldn't fully express ourselves, be it to social anxiety, be it to uh, depression, be it to the fact that you just can't relate to those around you. Daria really speaks to that particular generation, that particular group. So with that, you know, there are some downsides to this. Um, the main downside I see in this is as it goes on, I felt like I was rooting less for Daria and being annoyed more by her, especially in the last season and in the movies. Um, the two the two movies also come with this, and so does the pilot. Um, the movies, uh, let's see here. Um, oh, what was it? Uh, well, they had the two movies, like the fall, the the movie like about summertime, and then the movie about college. It's uh, once Daria actually starts finding her emotional voice, she starts really becoming that uh, that teenage girl, that average teenage girl, very indecisive. Uh, lobbing a lot of accusations, uh, some of them very unfair accusations. Uh, she usually does come to her own senses in the end, but the fact that she is normally the offender in that last season and in the movies, that kind of gets irritating after a while. Um, the other part about this is the timeline. It kind of is mixed up. I'm not exactly sure when she starts, maybe freshman year, maybe sophomore year. I know that part of the series takes place before she can drive because she's got her learners, but she can't drive fully. But then she does have her learners. At one point they say she's 17, then she graduates in the movie, so I know where that is. That's at the end of the timeline. But it also kind of just jumps around. I mean, there's a point where we're talking about her first dating this person, and then a couple episodes later, it's been six months. And I'm trying to figure out... Wait, wait, they said that she was 17. Shouldn't she be ready to graduate at this point? But she was going out with him over the summertime. It's... It's very... It's very confusing. Uh, if you guys actually understand the timeline very well, feel free to comment below. Again, taking those aside, the series itself is not only a good bargain. I mean, 14 bucks new at Best Buy um, and 18 bucks other places like Walmart. Um, that's actually a really good deal. I mean, you're getting all of these episodes plus the two movies, and uh, those two are actually full-length movies. So. I mean, it's a five-season series, and it, you can't really go wrong with the bargain. So, how does it stack up in the end? Well, in my mind, this series is actually very, very much for the Generation X slash Generation Y uh, groups. Uh, the later Generation X and probably the earlier Generation Y. So if you're really early Gen X, you're probably going to have more in common with Daria's parents than Daria. Uh, and it, for the uh, Generation Y, if you're in late Generation Y, you'll have more in common with the more, more Millennial-ish, which is kind of funny because Millennial, technically the young people of today are not Millennials anymore, and uh, but we always use the term Millennial to talk about young people. It's like, you know, like my wife is considered a millennial technically, but nobody's going to look at her as a millennial. So I, I don't really uh, say, but uh, it is a specific group that it speaks to. And I do think that this could be slightly outdated for that group. And for that reason, I give this an 8 out of 10. Extremely good series. If you're in that generational gap, uh, and you weren't like the super popular kid in school, I would say that it would be more of a nine uh, for those of you in that generation. So about a, a seven or an eight for everybody else, but uh, probably about an eight to a nine for those in that generation. So I will even it out to about an eight. So thank you very much. Uh, please feel free to like, 
subscribe, and comment. I look forward to reading your comments. I'm usually very quick to respond. I get a little notification on my phone saying, hey, comment. And I hope you all liked my DVD tour. Um, I'm hoping to actually start getting some content with my co-host up here. Uh, see if you can film some content, send me that, and uh, hopefully we can get that also rolling. So we're going to keep expanding, keep moving forward, and hopefully people are going to keep enjoying it. So thank you very much and have a good one.